questions raised by News Channel 9 prompts an investigation into a South Chattanooga business. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. The Park City Motel employees claim it's a reputable business operating legally in the state of Tennessee. But a former prostitute tells us it's a place where she once took her customers who paid for sex. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now with more. Hannah. Kim Calvin, I talked with a woman who says she was a prostitute in Chattanooga. Tonight, five years after turning her life around, she says she's taking a stand against the motel she says is still facil facilitating prostitution. Now the Hamilton County Health Department is asking questions. This corner by this old school is a place that I used to stand quite often. Katrina Cabe says once she secured a customer, he would often bring her here to do business. This is Mama's Hotel and you won't find it on the internet search. I've searched for it and searched for it. It can't be located. The woman at the front desk of this business says she operates it as a legal motel and says it's not called Mama's. We have never called it Mama, and he's been on this since the 80s. Okay. It's Park City Hotel. That woman, who never gave her full name, says there's no hourly rate here, but says they rent rooms starting at $15 per day. Cabe says that's what enables a lot of prostitution. You just sign in, um, you pay 15, 20 bucks for an hour, you do your business, and you leave. Cabe says she now spends a lot of time in the area ministering to women she once worked with on the streets. When we were out here last Saturday. We witnessed a known prostitute with a john pulling into this place. We called Low Wilkins with the Hamilton County Health Department about the motel. Wilkins says county records show Park City does not have a permit to rent rooms at all. Is that something they could get in trouble for? Yes. They are required to have a state of Tennessee license in order to operate as a hotel. Cabe says neighbors and others are aware that Park City facilitates prostitution, and she says it's been ignored for too long. And the women that I've interviewed over the past several weeks, I've asked them, what did you want to be when you grew up, when you were a little girl? And one girl wanted to be a lawyer, and one girl wanted to be a model. The woman at the front desk tells me that she's always tried to keep prostitutes out of the establishment. Low Wilkins tells us the story has prompted the health department to send an official out to the motel to investigate. Depend on us for details of that investigation. Kim. Anna, thank you. In the meantime, Katrina Cave says she will continue helping other women get off the streets through her ministry. A fast developing update on a story we've been following. A motel that some people call a haven for prostitution is out of business tonight. Good evening, I'm Calvin Sneed. I'm Kim Chapman. It was a call to News Channel 9 that brought light to allegations about the Park City Motel. The news of the closing is music to the ears of a former prostitute who frequented the hotel, but has since dedicated her life to rescuing women from a life on the streets. Chattanooga code enforcement officers paid a visit to the Park City Motel this afternoon. The kitchen area was infested with roaches and rodents. Um, there were signs all over the place of infestation of, of rodents and also uh, there was severe structural damage throughout the entire premises. Based on that, plus numerous electrical violations. Currently it's condemned. So here's how we got to this point. Wednesday, News Channel 9 brought you the story of Katrina Cabe, a former prostitute who now ministers to women on the street, offering them a way out. She gave us a first-hand account of what goes on inside the Park City Motel. You just sign in, um, you pay 15, 20 bucks for an hour, you do your business, and you leave. After that story, the Hamilton County Health Department inspected the business and confirmed it is not technically a motel because it does not rent rooms by the day. Based on what that inspector saw, he called Chattanooga's building inspectors, and that led to today's shutdown. Before the building was condemned, I spoke by phone to Park City owner Eugene Ball about prostitution at his business. To my knowledge, that stuff don't happen. How do you know? I just don't know what all my customers tell me, my, my employees tell me. After the city posted these signs, we went to the Park City and found two employees still inside the condemned building. They wouldn't let me in, but told me through the window police gave them until dark to get out, and that if they correct the problems, the Park City Motel can reopen. Meanwhile, former prostitute Katrina Cabe says this validates her ministry, and she has a message for the men who solicit prostitutes. Um, go ahead and go where you go, because we're going to find you, we're going to shut you down. I asked Park City Motel owner Eugene Ball if he plans to fix the problems and uh, reopen his business. He had no comment. 
and we learned there may be more scrutiny coming for the motel down the road. The city is notifying the state that the business is closed, and the state will make a decision about the motel license later. Today we are learning new information about Chattanooga's Park City Motel. In case you missed our story, a former prostitute told us two weeks ago that the motel was nothing but a haven for prostitution. The city says the motel's business permit is invalid because the address is not zoned for a hotel motel. But the owner still has the permit because the city passed, or the building passed a city fire marshal's inspection back in February. As we reported, once the business was condemned almost two weeks ago for code violations. If the Park City Motel came back, the problems would have to be corrected. Plus, the owner would have to apply for a zoning change. Depend on us to continue following this story. A local business once accused of facilitating prostitution is now demolished. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. We first told you about the Park City Motel, also known as Mama's, back in May. Now there's nothing but dust on the property where the building once stood. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence tells us exactly what happened. Hannah. Kim Calvin, our story in May led to an investigation by the city that shut down Park City Motel due to several code violations. Today I talked to a reform prostitute who first brought the issues at Park City Motel to our attention. She told me demolishing it could affect future sex crimes in Chattanooga. Katrina Cabe says this is where she lived some of her darkest days, working as a prostitute. She now ministers to women still working the streets. Friday, she came with a group to take pictures of the condemned signs that once hung on the door, but instead she was met with this empty lot. And we were just hugging and crying because this is such a huge victory for me, for every woman who's ever been victimized here, for the wives of men who have been victimized here. Workers at the business next door say crews tore down the building last week. We also saw on the ground the remnants of what used to happen here. Cabe says even though the motel was torn down, there's no doubt prostitution is still happening, but she says it's getting harder to hide. They're going to have to park on the side of the road. They're going to have to do it while they're driving down the road. That's what police say they found just this week. According to an arrest affidavit, Misty Harden is in jail tonight after officers found her performing oral sex on a man in a car, sitting in a Food City parking lot. She's charged with aggravated prostitution because according to the affidavit, Hardin is a known prostitute with HIV. What I want to know is who gave it to her and who's still out here giving it to these other prostitutes. Sean Parks is the man Hardin was with when police arrested her Tuesday. He was also taken into custody, charged with patronizing prostitution. Cabe says without easy places to hide sex crimes. And it's going to put more Johns behind bars. We reached out to the property owner, Eugene Ball. He wouldn't tell us why he knocked down the property or what's going to happen there next. According to Hamilton County property tax records, he's owned the piece of land since 1999. Calvin. Thanks, Hannah. Cave says she hopes to one day open a halfway house with her ministry cry for the broken. Right now she's working to gather the funds to buy a house or some property.